Hi, welcome to Nikki's Modern Mediterranean. I'm Nikki Glekis, wife, mother, CEO, and entertaining expert. Today I'm gonna to make Dito Kaftidi, spicy feta dip. Tasty and easy recipe that you can make at home or for your guests. To get started to make our Dito Kaftidi, our spicy feta dip, you are gonna be amazed at how easy this is. So we're gonna get started. We need a food processor and one pound of feta. I'm gonna use Vivoni's feta, which is a high quality feta. It's really creamy and delicious. So it's gonna make this dish even creamier. So we're just gonna crumble that in to our food processor. So two blocks is about one pound. I'm gonna put those in there. And then we're gonna add roasted red pepper. So you can get this in the supermarket in a glass jar or in a can. You're gonna see them either whole or in pieces. So I just chopped some up and I'm gonna measure out two tablespoons of roasted red pepper. So I have that in there. We're gonna add three sprigs of finely chopped fresh thyme in there. Then Tabasco, make it a little spicy. I'm gonna put about six to eight squirts of Tabasco. If you want it spicier, you can always add more. And we're gonna add cayenne pepper, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. There we go. We're gonna add olive oil, but after we mix this a little bit in our food processor. Put that on. Look how easy. So now you see the feta, you see the feta is a little bit still in big chunks. We want it really creamy. So we're gonna add in our olive oil in a few minutes and it's gonna make it super creamy. Once the big chunks of the feta have really kind of combined with all the other ingredients, I'm gonna take this lid off and I'm gonna put two tablespoons of olive oil on that. Measure that. This is gonna be, look how easy this is, so quick. I'm gonna put that in there. That looks amazing. And I'm just gonna wipe down the sides of this with the spatula so that we can get all these ingredients combined together. And you're, sometimes you're gonna see these dips you're gonna see Dito Kaftidi, sometimes they're gonna be a little bit darker orange color if people add more red pepper, or you'll even see it a little bit lighter. And the reason you'll see it lighter is because sometimes people use different ingredients. Some people will add a little ricotta or a little uh, Greek yogurt, and then it's gonna make it a little bit lighter in color. But I like to use the better feta, and it's gonna make it super creamy. So I'm just gonna mix it a little bit more. So I want this to be a little creamier, so I'm gonna add another tablespoon of olive oil, total of three tablespoons, which you'll be able to get the full recipe on my website. So I'll put that in there. Almost done. Oh, that looks great. That's exactly what I wanted. And our Tito Kaftidi is all finished and ready to be served. I can't even tell you how easy this is. It's just a few ingredients. It just takes a few minutes to get this all mixed together and it is delicious. At our Greek restaurant, we had six dips on the menu and then we used to have a three dip combination as one of the options on the menu. And I would say almost every single customer that came in would order the three dip combination. And now I'm sharing some of these recipes with you. And one of their favorites was always Dito Kaftidi, which is delicious. So we're gonna put this in a bowl here so you guys can see. And I'm gonna garnish it with a little cayenne pepper, grill some pita, and it's ready to eat. Look at that, a little cayenne pepper on the top. Look how beautiful. It's so delicious. You're gonna wow your guests at your next party or wow your friends by bringing it to their house. Our Tito Kaftiri is ready. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. 
For the full recipe, visit NikkiKlekis.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.